ultimately any pivot, any shift, any change in life, any change in general, no matter how small or big, can be bigger based on the story we tell ourselves, right? And how much emotion we put behind that thing. I mean, right now I'm struggling with a choice between two different options for moving forward. And those things are not necessarily mutually exclusive, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I'm still torn between them because I'm like, okay, well, you know, there's still a, a cost either way, right? Of doing both or doing one or the other. And so, you know, trying to weigh those things. But I think that that's the ultimate thing is taking that step back, right? And trying, trying to force yourself to take that step back or reaching out to folks. Like you said, you're, you know, your coaches need coaches, right? I mean, reaching out to a coach, reaching out to a mentor, reaching out to folks that you trust in your life, confidants in general, right? Whether you pay them or not, people who you can bounce ideas off of and really, really will give you that, that, that honest, you know, raw feedback that you, that you need oftentimes. Not the yes people who are like, yeah, whatever you want to do, honey, whatever you want to do, dude, you know, whatever you, whatever you think is going to be the right thing to go forward. That's true to a point, right? But making this, that doesn't help with making the decision, right? <laughs> so, you know, ultimately that is true. Whatever you choose is going to be your, your path, right? It, it's, it's kind of goes back to the conversation we had a few weeks ago about like how we saw our parents growing up, right? Like <clears throat> you think you're an adult and suddenly you have achieved, you've arrived, mm -hmm. you've maxed out the development you're going to have. You're not going to necessarily develop any more than this. That's just where you are. And that's wherever mm -hmm. you are at that particular age is where you stop, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I think that's a big, at least for me, that was a, kind of a big realization like wait I'm, I'm still things are still changing around me I'm still changing I'm still growing I'm definitely not where the hell I want it to be where, where I thought I wanted to be right mm -hmm. I mean I had this like you did I had this idea of being a corporate you know corporate cog in the wheel so to speak uh, I mean my my aspirations were a little higher than cog in the wheel I thought I was gonna be much higher in the company but either way I had an idea that I was gonna be in a company right I was gonna be an employee I never thought that it was a legitimate endeavor for me to be an entrepreneur, right? Even though I had these entrepreneurial tendencies, no one in my family, other than my uncle, you know, who had uh, uncles, multiple who started their own, you know, law practice and dental practice and medical practices, right? To me, those weren't entrepreneurs, right? Those are just business owners, right? And I never thought of that as something that I would be able to do. I thought like, oh, you know what? My, my path is this way. I'm going to go down this path and, you know, work for the man, <laughs> You know, for how many long, long, and I'll get a good salary. I'll be happy. I'll get married. I'll have two kids, two and a half kids. You know, with a, the American dream type thing. You know, I live in a house, all the good stuff, and maybe once in a while we get to travel. You know, then you get into the corporate world, and you're like, this, this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's one of those things where you're just like, what the heck is this? It's not where I thought it was going to be. And then you keep going, and keep growing, and you outgrow situations, and you outgrow things you never thought you would outgrow. You outgrow people you never thought you'd outgrow. And that change is really scary at first, you know, like to your point, it, it is, it's terrifying. And everyone expresses fear and, and, and con con concern different ways, right? I mean, a lot of people, are, uh, some people will just like be stressed out and stress eat, right? Or some people will be able to will work out and, you know, work it out of their bodies. Some people just talk to their friends and some people just hold it inside and don't do anything with it. It's just bury it, right? And I think a lot of guys deal with that and that whole like, because we, we can't possibly show that we're being vulnerable, right? We can't show emotion because God forbid that happens, right? And we bury it. We like hold it inside and we're like, we just, until we're ready to explode. And that's what ends up happening, right? And yeah, that's how you end up with a lot of guys, a lot of people in general, not just people, not just guys, but people in general who have midlife crises, right? Because you're you're bottling up all your feelings for all this time that your, your body, your mind is telling you this is not the right path for you or that maybe this is not where you want to be really. It, that's not what lights you up. And then you end up 20, 30 years down the line you're like, how the hell did I get here? You know, <laughs> like it's just, yeah. So it's really, it's really interesting. Mm -hmm.